Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Yesterday I went to the Shaftesbury Theatre to see a new revival of a show called The Pajama Game. Now the Shaftesbury Theatre is a theatre I've been to quite a lot in the past few years. It's really quite sad, but most shows that go to that theatre don't tend to last very long. I mean, I was only there last October and that was when I saw From Here to Eternity, the musical. And obviously that's closed now, so... Yeah, it's quite sad, but at least with the Pajama Game, it's a limited run as far as I know, so... It's going to be closing in September anyway. But let's not talk about closures and stuff, because the show itself is really, really good. This is a programme for the show, if you want to have a look. It's a really good programme as well, it's £6, but it's completely worth it. I mean, there's some really great pictures in the programme, as you can probably see here. And some really cool information as well about the show and how it was made, and also when it was made back in America. There's stuff about the original West End production and information about the first ever revival of it back in 1999. There's even this really cool page here that says 1954 in the USA, which gives you some information and facts about what life was like back in the 50s in the USA. I don't know, I just thought it was a really, really cool programme, so... Anyway, let's talk about the show itself. The plot revolves around two people, pretty much. The people that you can see here on the cover of this programme. This guy, his character in the show, is called Sid. Sid Sorokin. And he's a new superintendent in this pyjama factory called Sleep Tight. T-I-T-E, which I thought was a really cool name. And this girl here is somebody who works at that factory. Now the living conditions at the time aren't very good. The factory workers aren't getting paid very well and that results in a strike because they want to get more money basically. They want to raise in their wages. I think basically what they want is 7.50 cents or something because there's a song actually as far as I remember. There's a whole big section about 7.50 cents because apparently the show was actually kind of inspired by a book called 7.50 cents or something. 7.50 cents, not pence, sorry. Anyway, um, these two meet and they like each other. They kind of fall in love. But it's a bit awkward because they kind of have different opinions about the whole strike. The superintendent, as Sid's character, he doesn't really want them to go on strike. He wants them to just work and do what they can. And on the other hand, she's got very strong opinions about the strike and she wants the strike to succeed. And that kind of makes the whole love thing between them a bit difficult. So the whole musical, in a way, is about whether or not they can find a way to stay together without their opinions about the whole strike getting in the way. There's obviously also some minor characters and other stuff plots going on, but this is the main plot and that's pretty much all you have to know if you want to go and see the show. Right, so the cast. Sid was played by Michael Xavier, and I'm not gonna lie, one of the main reasons I wanted to go and see the show was him. I first saw Michael Xavier in Love Story the musical back in 2011, and since then I've really enjoyed seeing him in everything he's done, and I just think he's an incredible actor in every way, an incredible performer. His voice is one of the best voices I've ever heard on the West End, and that's a good thing because he has quite a lot of songs in this show. I thought he had the right persona for his character as well, who was very confident and determined as a superintendent, but he also showed his soft side really well in the scenes with um, her. So yeah, overall I thought he did a very great portrayal of Sid's character, I completely believed him. And of course as well, his voice, like I said, is absolutely amazing. It's one of my my favourite voices of all time I'd say probably. So yeah, that was him. Now his love interest is a character called Babe. She's not obviously actually called Babe but you know they've called her Babe in the story. And she was played by Joanna Riding. Again Joanna Riding is a performer that I've seen in quite a lot of shows in the past few years. I think the first time I saw her live was back in 2010 or 9 in uh, Billy Elliot the musical she was playing Mrs Wilkinson. Then I saw her in Umbrellas of Cherbourg, um, Lend Me a Tenor, Stephen Ward and now this. She's so good in this, um, honestly. I think Joanna Riding is one of those performers that if you ever see her name billed in a show you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to get an incredible performance from her. Even if the show's crap, her performances will always be amazing. And that was the case of course with Pajama Game as well, although I actually like Pajama Game at the show too. She plays a very strong, kind of confident woman in the show. Yes, she works in the factory, but she's also very independent in a way. She actually has a song uh, in the beginning of the show called I'm Not In Love or Something, where she expresses the fact that she doesn't feel like she needs a man and she's very happy to be doing everything on her own. And I really liked that in her character. I thought it was a very cool character. Her onstage chemistry with Michael Xavier's character was brilliant. I really enjoyed watching them together on stage. They were great. All the scenes that they had together were some of my favourites. And yeah, they were both really good. Two incredible leading performers in the show. And I think their performances alone is worth the ticket price. But anyway, let's get on to the rest of the cast. One of the characters in the show is called Vern Hines, and he was played by Peter Policarpo. Again, he's an incredible, very well-established performer. I've seen him in Love Story. Interestingly, he was actually in Love Story with Michael Xavier back in 2011, which I think is really cool. I also saw him in Sweeney Todd a few years ago. And it was a joy to watch him in this as well. He's so funny and he's just a really, really good actor. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed him in the show. It was great. He's only going to be in the show until the end of May. Uh, then he's going to be replaced by Gary Wilmot. So I'm sure Gary will be just as good. But I'm glad I got to see Peter because I've always enjoyed his performances and it was great to see him in this. Another really fun character in the show is called Gladys and she was played by Alexis Owen Hobbs. 
I thought she was brilliant. A phenomenal performance by her. She was just really funny again and very entertaining to watch on stage. She was really good. The last person I'm going to name, and I really wish I could name all the cast because there's a great cast, but yeah, for timing purposes, obviously can't. But there's a character called Prez in the show, and he's kind of like the leader of the union when they go on strike. And he was played by Eugene McCoy. He was definitely one of the funniest characters in the show. His comedy moments were absolutely brilliant. I've seen him before in Jersey Boys as Nick Massey, and he's still my favourite Nick Massey, and it was so good to see him in a different show. And I really loved his performance. He was great. Right, music. Music and lyrics are done by Richard Adler and Jerry Ross. I thought it was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed the music. It's very old-fashioned music, but obviously it was made quite a long time ago, so that's what I expected anyway. But it's really good. The songs are really, really good. There's actually a song list in the programme as well, which is something that not many shows tend to do these days, and I'm glad that they had it for um, the pyjama game. I'm just going to name you some of my favourite songs. Hey There is a song that Sid sings at first, but then they also sing it later again together, uh, him and Bay. I love that song. It's so nice. It's just very calming and, and soothing and really, really nice. I'm Not At All In Love is a song that Joanna Riding's character Babe sings with all the factory girls and that was really fun. There's a scene in Act 2 called Hernando's Hideaway and that's also a name of a song and I thought that was a really fun song because it was a really big scene, there was also dancing going on and I don't know, it was just really fun. I had a big smile on my face for the whole song and yeah, I loved it. Probably my favourite song in this whole show though would have to be There Once Was A Man. This is a song that first happens towards the end of Act 1 and it is just such an incredible song. It's so funny, very entertaining, so much fun to watch. Babe and Sid's characters sing the song and it's basically them expressing their love for each other and telling each other how much they love each other. It's just a really fun song, I can't really explain it, but there's quite a lot of yodeling going on and really funny um, movements and it's just, it's really cool. I've been listening to it pretty much non-stop since I saw the show yesterday, because there's a video of it of the original film on YouTube and I've just been listening to that and yeah, this musical's actually based on a film if you didn't know. But yeah, I really love that song and yeah, I just love the score overall, it was really good, I enjoyed it. The sets, I don't really have much to say about them because they were just standard sets, nothing extraordinary or incredible, just normal sets, they did the job and you know, it was great. The choreography is the last thing I want to talk about. I loved it, I didn't expect there to be quite a lot of choreography in the show but there's quite a lot of dancing and I really enjoyed it. I think I've said it before in some of my reviews but some of my favourite things to see in a musical is ensemble dancing, a whole group of people on stage dancing together. I don't know what it is but I really love it and there's quite a lot of it in this show. There's a bit of tap dancing as well which is great, I love tap dancing. So yeah, if you love tap dancing and dancing and choreography and a great fun story and entertaining moments and some funny bits, this show is perfect for you. It's a great good old fashioned musical and I love that. There's not very many musicals like this in the West End at the moment. The only other one I can think of is Dirty Water Scoundrels which I also love. So yeah, if you do get a chance to go and see The Pajama Game, go and see it before September. It's definitely worth it. It's got an incredible cast and it's just a really fun show. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time. Bye!